Good evening. Good evening. Wonderful. You're all full of beans. How is everybody feeling this evening? Good. Sorry? Good. Good. Okay. All right. Let's get excited about this. Um, so, yes, my name is Nick. I grew up in the South Hams. Uh, and I am a, a transformation coach. So I work with businesses on innovation and I work with people one-to-one -one on personal change. And I live and breathe change right the way through the spectrum of personal, organizational, and systemic. And I love that because it is all about enabling people to thrive. And I never thought I'd go into politics, which funnily enough is also, or should also be about enabling us all to thrive. Uh, but it too needs to change. And change is dependent upon individual agency, upon each and every one of us accessing our personal power, our voice, and our choice. That is democracy. And self-direction, the ability to determine your future, is precisely what enables us to thrive. But we are giving it away on a national level. And in 2016, we voted to leave, correct? Yes. And we had sovereignty enough to determine a clean exit then. But now, not only are we not leaving, but we're on the brink of surrendering that sovereignty under the guise of the word leave. Uh, and it's not leave, as you all well know. It is a treaty taking us deeper in, signing us up to further obligation, but relinquishing our ability to have a voice at the table. No influence. We're becoming a dog on a lead. So as I like to say, you can call it leave, you can call it withdrawal, you can call it a banana if you like, but it is not what the people voted for. And so we're in a dangerous position where Parliament is disregarding a vote because 2016 was the people's vote, correct? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and so any other party seeking another vote, a deal other than WTO terms, or even staying in, is fundamentally disregarding that vote, is fundamentally undemocratic. And essentially they are deciding who matters and who doesn't. They are not happy with their, our opinion because it, it is not theirs. And they even try to frighten us into voting to remain with a 23-page document explaining how the skies would fall. And what government does this? One which seeks to serve itself. One where there's a total lack of transparency. Where is the balance, where is the balanced view? Where is the conversation about the cost of doing nothing? When I talk to businesses about innovating, before you seek to change, you always ask the question, what's the cost of doing nothing? And I am yet to hear a good argument from another party to explain why we should stay as we are. There is no conversation about a defense union that we're being tied into, which, you know, a European army, which is answerable to who? Some politicians in Brussels, not, not the UK. Uh, and per perhaps the euro. We see, obviously, the way that every other kind of member state has gone, ever closer union. Is there a fiscal union that we would slowly be tied into? It's not up for conversation. And the EU's stated aim is ever closer union. And so I would read that as ever-growing control and ever-diminishing agency. And this is ultimately the fundamental ideological flaw in the EU, is that we all want to be respected as individuals. And the EU paints itself as being in alignment with diversity by welcoming all under one roof. But in fact, that ever closer union creates hegemony. It swaps the local ecosystems for en masse, top-down, centralized power removing the ability to be an individual nation state. And so collectively, we must take responsibility for our future. And I like to quote Gandhi and say that it's down to each and every one of us to be the change we want to see. And so we must come together to collectively decide how we want to govern ourselves. 
And at the Brexit Party, we are a diverse group. We come from across the political spectrum. The conversation of left and right is now a little out of date. And unlike Westminster or the EU, the Brexit Party unites around what matters. That is the human element, each and every one of us and our democracy. It's fundamentally about reconnecting to our common humanity, where we find unity in understanding that we are all equal people. And we seek to reform the system with that as its heart. And the Brexit Party's diversity is brilliant because we can set the example of getting better at the debate that is so desperately needed, where it is okay to have different views, to think differently, but talk about it constructively. Any finger pointing, blaming, telling people their vote doesn't matter or they don't deserve a vote. Well, if you can't play nicely here, how do you expect to engage on a European or an international stage? And finally, our diversity means that we can get creative in coming up with new ways. So let's look up and out, and let's step in to the future that we can create together, to global, not just European, opportunities. And set your vision for what that can look like. Can you imagine living in a country where we can make our own laws? Living in a country where we can decide who we trade with, where there is true freedom of speech. <laughs> You're all feeling it, I know, aren't we all? So please, on the 23rd of May, vote for the Brexit Party. Stand united with us. Is it because it is each and every one of us playing our various individual part in this. We stand united to restore democracy, leave the EU on WTO terms, and it is together that we will change politics for good.